Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a very quick video on the present Lincoln 2 Plus transceiver. Uh, this came about because I actually sold this radio a couple of weeks back on eBay and the guy who bought it off me was really happy with the radio. However, he did have one small problem. He installed it into his van and all of a sudden he lost the CB frequencies. Now, I'm going to show you how to put these back into the radio because it's something that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people don't realise uh, can be done. If you actually reset the radio, um, after the modification has been performed, you do lose the CB frequencies. You go back to just being a 10 meter and 12 meter transceiver. So in other words, if we look at the bands on here now, you can see there with the band button, if I press that, we go all the way through uh, 29 megs and then all the way back to uh, 24. So you go all the way back from 12 meters, then straight up to 10 meters on 28 megs. And you can see it cycling through the bands there and um, there's no CB frequencies in the radio anymore. Now, the modification is a hardware-based mod inside the radio. It involves um, soldering a resistor onto the PCB board, which has already been done with this particular radio. And we're not going to go into that today because there's plenty of other videos out there on the internet. If you check out, I think it's Bell CB in the US, they've got a great video on performing the modification and opening up the radio to the full range of frequencies. But this radio uh, in particular has already been done. So we know that it works on 11 meters, but uh, the guy's lost the band. Now, the reason why is, uh, for whatever reason, he's maybe performed a factory reset on the radio, a full reset, that is, uh, from the menu system. And after that point, you'll lose the 11 meter band, or it could be a microprocessor reset, some sort of a glitch or anything like that. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it back in once the mod's been performed. So all you need to do is go into the menu. So you just hold down the menu key for two seconds like this and then press the down arrow key to get to the next menu option. And you can see there it says on the screen CBPWD, or it's supposed to say that, it says CB password. Now, if you don't do this within two seconds, the menu exit and it goes back to the normal operation of the radio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this now and the password you need to enter using the uh, channel change and the push button is simply one, two, three, four, five. And you have to enter that and once you've done that, the radio resets. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So basically hold down the menu key, go through the menu options. If you go downwards, it takes you straight there to CV, PWD, rotate the channel selector and key the first digit in of the password. So it's one and press inwards. Next digit flashes, so it's two. Likewise, three, four, five. Once you've entered that, the radio reboots, and as you can see now, we've got 26965 showing there. And if we press the band button, we can cycle all the way through the CB frequency. So you can see channel 1 there on the high band, 27415. And then it goes back in the usual pyramidic uh, strange band configuration that President insists on. Back to 26515, 27865, 26065 and then back up into 10 meters there 28 315 so it becomes uh 40 channel banded all the way through there but there's no need to worry about the bands because you can simply use the channel selector to change the digit underneath each uh, increment and we can go 29 24 25 26 it's a quick jump all the way through there so it operates in full vfo mode then all the way through continuously from 24 right up to 30 megs so that's all well and good. So that's what you do to restore the CB band configuration. But like I say, if you do reset the radio, you will lose those 11 meter channels. So I'll just demonstrate that to you. If we hold down the menu key and go through the options till we get to reset, which is the next one down there. As you can see, there's all sorts of things you can adjust in there, but we're just gonna go to the reset. This is OP, we're gonna turn it to all, press the channel selector. That's a reset all basically. And the radio will reboot. It comes back up and as you can see we're back on 29 megs so then if we try moving around we can only jump all the way through there from 24 megs that's 12 meters straight up to 10 meters so you've lost the cb frequencies so one more time go back into the menu go to cb pwd one two three four five Radio reboots, boom, back into 11 meter bands straight away. So you've got a fully opened up radio. So just remember, if you ever press reset 
or the microprocessor resets, you've got to redo the CB password. If you don't see P CB password in your menu options, it means your radio is not modified. This only works when the resistor has been inserted into the radio. So just remember that, and hopefully that will get a few people out of a pickle, because I've had one or two comments about this, uh, about people losing bands on the Lincoln, and that's the way you put it back in. Nice, easy modification once the hardware mod's been done inside there, so hopefully that saves somebody a bit of time and stress, really. And I'm going to now return this radio back to its owner. Hope you enjoyed that video, and if you can hear any background noise, it's because I'm in the workshop, and it's absolutely pouring down tonight outside, so uh, very bad weather in the UK at this time of year, but uh, that's kind of expected uh, come autumn time, so yeah. Anyway, 73's for now, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.